What is up, MFers? Welcome back to another exciting ice fishing episode. As you can see, we are out at a much, much larger lake today. There is a ton of people out here ice fishing, so we're just gonna have to kind of find a spot within all those guys, but got the main dude, star of the show, Max right here. And the goal today, I actually went out and, and bought this really, really sick uh, Coleman propane stove. Uh, had good reviews on Amazon anyways. I don't know if it's sick. It looks like it. But the goal of today is go out and catch some fish. Hopefully some bluegill, some crappie. Obviously, we're not going to keep any bass. Um, or there are really big pike in here. We're not going to keep any of those either. Those are all catch and release. But the goal is to catch some big bluegill, big crappie, fillet them up. We brought stuff to cook them up on the ice. What do you think about that, my man? Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like fish, right? Yeah. Is that your favorite food? One of them. One of them. Beauty. These ice fishing videos, catch cook videos have been doing very, very well. So we're gonna try to combine them today. So go drop a thumbs up right now. Of course, subscribe if you like these types of videos because there's gonna be many more to come. Brought a bunch of snacks, bunch of gear. We're in shake and bake. Ready to shake and bake? Let's get them. All right, we are out onto the ice. Looks nice and sketchy, but uh, I'm not too worried about it because it's been insanely cold lately. What? You're good, dude. Just come get close to me. <laughs> yeah, this ice is like eight to 10 inches thick now, so definitely not as worried as I was about a week ago. But we're gonna shake and bake. What do you think about that ice? Huh? Kind of scary looking, huh? Right, this one I'm starting with right here. Got a little Mr. Uh, spoon. We're in about 18 feet of water. Drop my wax worm, but that's okay. We're gonna put three wax worms. This is called the buffet rig, Max. We were gonna bring the uh, mud dogs, use them. Um, unfortunately though, this lake is no live bait. So Max is using a minnow head on his spoon. I'm going with the wax worms. We're gonna see what they wanna eat, huh? I'm going to Go we'll find greener pastures, cut some new holes, because this is not doing it. Hot on. Oh yeah, found a crappie, Max. First fish, I was out here just checking this hole. He's not very big, but uh, he's pretty chubby, so we're gonna hold on to him for just a second. Over there in the hut where we uh, we initially started and drilled those holes, there's so many trees down there that it's like impossible to even see where your bait is on the screen, everything. And as I told you guys, a fish finder is crazy important for uh, actually catching the fish when you're ice fishing. So that wasn't working, but just made a quick little move, drilled another hole and marked and caught the first fish that bit, so. I'm gonna kind of fish this hole for a second. If I get a couple more marks or, or one more mark, we're gonna move the hut over here. Daddy, you need to go to the bathroom. Pee? Yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom, Daddy. Not now, damn it. All right, hop on out and let her rip. Take a second to let you guys know, these are absolutely clutch. I don't know if they're, they have them nationwide, but they are so freaking good open water ice fishing especially ice fishing because you got a lot of downtime money got him got him oh that's a much better crappie not a giant but we got another one. splashed you beauty look like dinner to you mm -hmm. hell yeah i bet it's about to jump right into the water nope he's gonna jump into the frying pans where he's gonna jump all right first drop down with the old little teardrop and that dude was all about it so that makes me feel a lot better about things i was using a spoon before max is still using a spoon with a minnow head he's going for something giant but i was using a spoon before and uh yeah they kept coming up and looking at it not committing to it but that first drop down there with that little teardrop i saw him come right up off the bottom shot right up and bit it right away so feeling pretty good about that and if i catch another one on a teardrop max is doing the teardrop There we go, got him. That's gotta be a crappie, right? Oh yeah, another eater crappie, hell yeah. Sick, man. You doing a teardrop now? Uh-huh. Bingo. Dinner. There we go, that's a good one. 
Much better fish. Ooh. Boom. Another sexy, crappy. Woo! Barely hooked. There we go. Oh, that's big. I said you had real one. You said you had real one. Oh, it's a bass. Come here. Reel it in. Reel, reel yours in, bud. Here you go. Yep, just keep, there he goes. Just keep it tight. Oh, what are you doing? Flip it back over, bud. Oh, it's the wrong way for you, isn't it? Well, you just got to figure it out, I guess. You got this, buddy. You got this. Ho ho! <laughs> Good one, dude. Give me some. I don't really want to hold it because the last one bit me. <laughs> the last bass bit you, huh? Mm -hmm. Pretty slick, man. Hey, that's a nice little two and a half pounder. It's a pretty fat one, dude. Pretty fun through the ice, huh? Mm -hmm. Got them with both hands? Mm -hmm. All right, so now bend down, and I would go try to put his head in first. So flip it. Never mind. That's not his head. I know. Now he's stuck. <laughs> Here, you're gonna have to push him down. I would use your scoop, maybe. There we go. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Max, that was the least graceful bass release I've ever seen in the history of fishing. Good job though. He lived. We're good to go. Give me some. Hey, nice fish. You did a good job reeling that in. Way to keep it tight. Pretty sick. I looked down and there was this big mark right at 10 feet. It's like 18 feet right here. So you see something at 10 feet. It's either a, a good size crappie or, or like that one right there. That was a bass. I think we, what'd you say? We need three more. We get like seven or eight. We're going to, we're going to start filleting them up. Nice. Crappie need that more. is not bass. Two more. All right. We can do it. I believe that is the uh, the end of our fishing today. We ended up with seven crappie and one bluegill, and it is time to fillet them up right now. Have our little catch and cook on the ice. You ready for that? Uh -huh. All right, and first one bass. One bass. You got a good bass, too, didn't you? You got the catch of the day. Which unzip your coat right now? I think I have an idea why you had the catch of the day today. Unzip your coat. Show them. Oh. That's why Max has the slaunch hunter hoodie on. First step is to fillet them up, and then we're gonna get the oil hot. And then it's time to cook them up. There's my uh, trusty fish cleaning station. This knife that uh, I haven't used since Nam, but it's long. It's a long knife. We're staying nice and toasty in here. We're gonna fillet these guys. Got old Max, gut boy, ready to rock and roll over there. Really wishing I had my uh, electric knife, but obviously not a lot to plug in out here. I need to get a generator. Boom. Get him cranked up high. Wash off these fillets. Get to battering them. We'll be good to go. Well, folks, we have a bit of a problem. I didn't get a pan. Didn't bring a pan. So, trying to decide it's a good idea to cook over this guy. I would think it would be. It's like heavy duty metal. Kind of worried about the paint on there, is the only thing. I suppose the only way to find out is to uh, put it on low. Put some oil in there and see how it looks. God damn, it's always something. Just turned it to low. A little oil in there. This could be very interesting. That actually, uh, that might work. Um, I guess I can use my gloves as hot mitts. That's a little sketchy, but uh, might actually be working. We'll maybe do it with a few fillets first. There's our milk. All right, so we got our fillets. That's our milk. And then this is a mix of flour, breadcrumbs, salt, and pepper. We're gonna kind of start with a couple fillets since I'm dumb and forgot the whole pan. Just kind of see how it goes. So there they are into the milk. Drop them in here. Usually I'd like to put this on like a plate, but uh, a little bit limited due to the Lack of dad's brain today. I mean, that's a little sketchy looking. I mean, it's hot though. Without a doubt, it's hot. Quick. 
Hey, look at that, it's working. The paint doesn't appear to be melting, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it uh, good to go and safe. All right, a little flippage. Dude, they are cooking up perfect. This is actually working. That is what's up right there. Figured I'd come over here and do a little jigging while we're uh, cooking that up. See if we can get another, another big one. What's up? That smells good. It's gonna be getting close to done. Do I get a taste test? Yeah. Oh my God. Dude, what? it does not get fresher than that. That is unbelievable. Well, bro, taste tester, here you go. Bon appetit, my man. Bon appetit. Might be a little hot, give it a second. It's gonna be tasty though. I can't believe how hot this thing got though. It's literally, it's 10 degrees outside right now. That dude got hot real quick. That was the lowest setting. But uh, this, was, this was good, minus the uh, not bringing a pan. All right, take a big bite, my man. What's the verdict? Money? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, we'll cook a couple more up then. Like I seriously didn't even know if that was gonna work because it is like 10 degrees, wind's blowing a little bit, but that, mad props to that. I'll, I'll link it down below, it was on Amazon. It was actually pretty cheap, but if you wanna cook outdoors while camping, we're definitely gonna be using that in the future, but I'm gonna shut up, get to eating some of this before he eats them all. That's seriously so good. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to do this every time we come ice fishing now, great. I think it's impossible for fish to be fresher than this. Mm -hmm. Warms you up from the inside. Uh -huh. Have you ever watched those cooking shows like uh, Shocked or something? Yeah. Mm. Think we could win the championship with this recipe? Probably. Sometimes I watch Kids. Kids Shop is good. Those kids are freaking good. Yeah. Now we gotta clean our lives up here. Yeah. Let's got a bunch of those crappie too to take home. What do you think? Give me some. Do it again? Yeah. For sure. Well, that is the end of the day. I don't think I made it clear enough, but I had actually never ever done a catch and cook on the ice like that. Like I said, I used that Coleman heater for the very first time and it was absolutely flawless. I've tried grilling before when it's 10, 20, 30 degrees outside. It's colder than that even today and it had zero problems. We averted a little bit of a crisis because dad forgot a frying pan at home, but those metal plates, also I think from Coleman, this sounds like a Coleman commercial. Don't work with them, nothing, but apparently good products. Like I said, if you like these ice fishing videos, go subscribe right now. If you liked this video, go drop a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see moving forward as far as some of the ice fishing goes. Now, I did just talk to my buddy that's been fishing down south at a lake uh, that he said there's going to be fish moving on beds soon that are in the teens, bass in the teens uh, in the next couple weeks. So I might have to get away from this cold weather uh, and go do some of that. But you cannot freaking complain with uh, with coming out here catching fish, fish to eat. We got extra fish now to take home from mom. I'm going to quit talking. Little man's in the truck warming up where I need to be because it is chilly out here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you very, very soon. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.